Good morning, students. Welcome in fifth standard. Today we are going to learn whatever things we have to see in fifth standard. We are starting our first chapter also. Okay, so just take revision of fourth standard. In fourth standard, we have learned so many things, just like geometrical figures, acute angle, right angle, obtuse angle, triangle, their size, their angles, and vertex also. Then after circle, center of the circle, chord, radius, diameter. In second lesson, we have learned three digit number. How to write three digit numbers in words? How to write after numbers? How to write before numbers? Then after we have learned addition of three digit number, subtraction of three digit number. Also, if you remember, in fourth standard we learn new method of multiplication. That is called as lattice method. Whenever you have given the number, just like 34 multiplied by 5. Okay, two digit number multiply by one digit number. How to multiply the number with the help of lattice num lattice method? Two digit number multiply by two digit number by lattice method. This new method we have learned. Next one, dividation. Suppose any number you have given, 36 divided by 4. How to divide the number? Then, what is the meaning of quotient? Remainder, divisor, dividend. All such types of things, all such types of new things we learn. You have given the clock. What is the meaning of minutes, hours, second hand, hour hand, okay, minute hand. We learn this, the difference between these hands we have learned. After that, we have learned pictograph. In pictograph, you have given some pictures. With the help of pictures, given some scale. And we can calculate that scale and write down the answers with the help of that picture. All such things we learn in 4th standard. So today we are going to start our uh, all such things we have learned in 4th standard. So today we are going to learn in 5th standard. Whatever things we have to see. 5th standard also if you observe your textbook. Okay. In front of your textbook some pictures are shown. Some students are shown. Okay. If you observe this is the nature picture. Environment. It means with maths. With the help of maths we have learned environmental things also. If you observe some boys or girls are given. Some one girl and boy is given, they are measuring. The boy is looking in her, in his watch, okay, and the girl looking the clock. After that, the boy is drawn the circle on the page. Next one, cubes, uh, squares are given. Back side of your textbook, also nature pictures are given. Boy is measuring that pole. Some dots are given, it means they are making the rangoli. Girl is measuring that pole vertically. Okay, such types of things it means here also in this standard also we are we have to learn with the help of number we have to do addition, subtraction, new method, then multiplication, dividation, whatever things in your clock, three hands are given, upper hand, minute hand, and second hand is given. So, what is the meaning of this? 24 hour clock, we have to learn this year. After that, perimeter, area of given figure, all such types of things we have to learn. So, today we are starting our first chapter, that is Roman numerals. Numerals means numbers. Numbers are very necessary in our daily life. With the help of numbers, we can do any things. Suppose, your mother tells us that, tells you that, you have to bring sugar from the market. For bringing the sugar, you are taking some money with you and you are going to the shopkeeper. You are asking that give me 1 kg sugar. So, shopkeeper give you 1 kg sugar and he has asking you please give me 40 rupees for that 1 kg sugar. So, easily you can give 40 rupees for that sugar. It means what? For transaction, we want numbers. For counting, we, are, we want numbers. All whatever things we can do in our daily life, we want numbers. Without numbers, we can't do anything. So, let's start from our first chapter. Okay, if you observe, okay, some clocks, numbers are given just like, okay, one clock is in front of you and some clocks, numbers are given just like, now pay attention.
some clocks number are given in this way so teacher how we recognize what is the time is there in that clock so we can't able to recognize because we don't know what is the meaning of this so this is called as roman numerals okay so let's start from roman numerals so today our first chapter is roman numerals in this chapter we have to see what is the meaning of this 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 what whatever numbers or whatever figures you see in this clock we have to learn the meaning of this so our first chapter is roman numerals up to fourth standard we learn numbers like 1 2 3 4 5 6 so in this year we have to learn so whenever you learn whatever you learn 1 2 3 4 this is called as international numerals so how to write that international numerals in roman numerals today we are going to learn okay so pay attention we are going to first learn how to write 1 to number roman how to write 1 to 20 international numbers in Roman numeral. So for that we are making one chart. Pay attention here. This is your international number. International number. And this side it is your Roman numerals. Okay. so first of all we are making some chart okay first we make the chart that is roman number international numbers and roman numeral you learn from nursery 1 2 3 4 5 6 numbers are in the way so we are learning so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 10 this is called as international number and how to write this international numbers in roman numeral so today we are going to learn pay attention it properly okay one This is international number and Roman numeral. This is called as I. Okay, just like your alphabetical I. We are write down for one I. Two means one plus one. Two means double I. One plus one plus one means three. That is triple I. Okay. Next one you are four. Four means what? Now pay attention. If you observe. Five minus one, that is, we get the answer four. Okay, five minus one, we get the answer four. So first, we are write down five. For five, we are write down v. Okay, v. And five minus one means four. So before the v, we have write down one. For one, we are write down i. Four before the v, we are write down i. It means i v. It is called as four. Five plus one means six. So v i means six. Five plus two means seven. Five plus two, double I. It is seven. Five plus three means eight. Five triple I means eight. Okay. Now for nine. First of all, we are write down ten. For ten, we are write down x. And we know that ten minus one, we get the answer nine. Ten minus one. So x before the x, we have to write down I. That is your i x means your nine. It means i double i triple i i v means four v five v i six v double i seven v triple i eight i x nine and x means ten. This is your international one to ten numbers, and these are your Roman numerals. For that international numerals, instead of these international numerals, we can write down Roman numerals. And if you remember the that clock. First, I have drawn that. So, if you observe that clock, it means what? On that clock, numbers are given one to twelve. Okay. Just we see only one to ten Roman numerals. So today, now we have to see eleven to twenty Roman numerals. Again, draw the box. 
it means it's easy for us to write down 1 to 11, 1 to 20 roman numerals this is your international numbers and this one roman numeral again make the box just like first we have drawn Okay, and write down the number that is 11 to 20. International numbers, write down 1, 11 to 20. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. Okay, students pay attention properly. If you can easily write down 1 to 10 Roman numerals or if you can easily learn 1 to 10 Roman numerals, it, then it is easy for us to write down 11 to 20 Roman numerals. Teacher, how is it is possible? Okay, question is there. So, when you know that for 10, we have write down x and 10 plus 1 that is 11. So, x, x plus 1 means 10 plus 1 means 11. So, for 10 we have write down x and for 1 we have write down i. So, x i means 11. 10 plus 2 means 12. So, x double i means 12. 10 plus 3 means 13. So, x triple i means 13. Okay. Then, 10 plus 4 x i v. You have to write down just like x v x v i x v double i x v triple i then after x i x and 10 plus 10 means 20. So x plus x means x x that is 20. It is easy for us to write down with the help of 1 to 10 Roman numerals to write 11 to 20 Roman numerals also. Okay now pay attention. So we can today learn how to write Roman numerals from 1 to 20. Okay next thing pay attention properly. Today I am going to tell you one easy trick. How to remember Roman numerals up to 1 to 1000. Okay, so pay attention to that particular statement. You can easily understand how to write Roman numerals from up to 1000. In front of you, now I am going to write one sentence. So pay attention. I... Have ten little categories of dairy milk. Okay. If you observe this sentence, you have to learn this sentence only. I have 10 little categories of dairy milk. Teacher, what is the sentence? I have 10 little categories of dairy milk. Mere paas dairy milk ki 10 categories hai. To usse mujhe kya fayda hone wala hai? So pay attention to this sentence. If you observe, some digits are highlighted in this sentence. Okay, just like I. In have, V is highlighted. 10 L is highlighted, C is highlighted, D is highlighted and M is, M is highlighted. So what is the meaning of this? Okay, now I means your 1, V means your 5, X means your 10, L means your 50, C means your 100, D means your 500 and M means your 1000. It means, this is the very small sentence, I have 10 little categories of dairy milk. In this small sentence, we can easily learn 1 to 1000 Roman numerals. So, for 1, we are using I. For 5, we are using V. For 10, we are using X. For 50, we are using L. For 100, we are using C. For 500, we are using D. And for 1000, we are using 
M. In this way, we can easily remember our 1 to 1000 Roman numerals. So today we are only learn how to write Roman numerals up to 1 to 20 and then how to recognize or how to remember 1 to 1000 Roman numerals. So it's your today's homework. You have to solve exercise video on my Okay, so look at if you observe the exercise. Now it's very easy for you to write down or to solve the exercise. Only numbers are given, you have to write down Roman numerals. Some questions you have given Roman numerals, you have to write down numbers. It means it is very easy. Also, I have given you homework again. Okay, with my mind and you have to solve that homework also. Okay, thank you.